Hello and good evening everybody. This is Etheric777. Today back with another little flight video and uh, we are again at the local airfield. So uh, not a new location or something, but we are going to run some tests and so I need an area that I know very well. Uh, here we have again the Goliath frame from iFly.info and it, as you maybe saw my last video, it's not here, a NASA light. Uh, flight controller and in this video we are going to try if uh, the uh, return to home function works so I'm going to turn off my uh, remote control during this video and I tell you I'm a bit nervous <laughs> and uh, what we're also going to see is that I have here a 25 milliwatt uh, immersion RC uh, 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter and uh, this is a legal video transmitter in the most of countries of Europe. Now a lot of people tell how far can I go with a 5.8 gigahertz transmitter with just 25 milliwatts and that's uh, a good question and so far I never could try it because I didn't uh, have the possibility to uh, bring the copter back but now I have uh, GPS hold and all that and so we are going to check this out. Uh, the camera that we use is a GoPro 2 here in the case and I hear from far away my remote control is already beeping, so I have to go back. Um, and we are going to do this all in FPV. So I'm going to turn on the camera now. And we are going to put the copter here. To start. Okay, and while the copter is going to lock uh, onto the GPS satellites. I'm going to show you the setup that we have today. Um, you see it's not too windy, just a little bit here and there. So I think very nice conditions. We have about 35 degrees, so even not too hot for, for Italian weather. <laughs> Okay, and what you see is, we have even a much nicer place here in the meanwhile, because the other members were working here to have some shadow, what is very, very nice. And here we go. Now I have my glasses in the middle. Okay, so we have here the normal fat shark with, uh, with the SPV uh, antenna to get the uh, signal from the, from the clover leaf. Um, we have here a normal uh, recorder. So what you see is uh, I record the whole signal here on this little uh, flight recorder. Um, we will have some vibrations probably in this video and the reason is that the copter, uh, the motors are not in the best shape that I had to use but I don't have other ones and you know we are in August it's hard to get all the parts together uh, but I think it will be okay for the test. Alright and here we go, I'm going to start. And we are in GPS hold. Okay, start was not the best one. Alright, first what I will do is I bring the copper fast to us, to our location. To see if all works well. So there you have my beautiful wife who is holding the camera for us today. Now the GoPro has a little problem. Uh, it is very dark when you go against the sun, but I think it will work out. So what we are going to do is, first of all, I go, I go a little bit more up with the copper. You see, of course, now when we do the test, uh, the wind is much stronger. But it's always like this. And now I will lock the copter with uh, the altitude hold that I programmed on the remote control. 
drone we are going to fly a little bit around so here you see the video signal now you see there are uh, some disturbings that are uh, 350 meters i was watching before on google maps between me and the end of the airfield and you have to imagine that i sit right now if i stand up of course this will be better now i move a bit and you see all is uh, very fine so just the internal receiver of the video goggles and there is much more windy crazy uh, so just the internal video receiver and the antenna without an external receiver can give you a quite good picture even on 350 meters and uh, probably you will not go much more uh, much more far with uh, with a copter because you just use it to stay in the in the in the zone. Now you see when I move the head, of course we have there some disturbings. But having a copter with a GPS lock, that means when I leave it, it will just uh, stay where it is. Uh, makes it easy to uh, to find the signal again or to send the copter back. All right, and you see now we fly here, falling the street. All that works very well and even if the motors aren't in the best shape and we have here a lot of vibration it works not too bad and now I fly even behind myself you know between me and the copter we have even now this uh, little thing to uh, for, for the shadow so all in all not too bad And now, let's say I'm more or less on full speed for uh, flying in uh, with uh, with position hold from the from the GPS. And all in all, it works very well. Now, when I go here to this location, I always have uh, disturbings in the picture, but you hear even the beeping of my remote control. And I don't know if they use a booster or something uh, at this place but it's strange because when I go into the other direction that never happens all right what we will do now is we are going to check out the return to home function are you filming this so you see the copter and I will turn off now the remote control oh my god it's turned off copter is flying all alone and hopefully it will come back to the position. Okay, I see it's getting up. Now he... Okay, and I lose even the picture. That makes it even more crazy. All right, and it's flying slowly back. And I think now we are far enough that I can leave the video goggles here. I think we know already that all worked out. And my wife and me, we are going to see the auto landing. So here is the proof. Turned off, completely turned off. And now we should get the auto landing. And I think we go there to see that. Just have to find my goggles again. Okay, and there you see it's blinking. So the fade safe kicked in and it's doing everything alone. Okay, and we are going to see this going much more near to it. And you can see it worked and it just started actually one meter away from where we launched at so uh, all in all very good and you see it's still blinking uh, that means if you want to get it back into normal mode 
can turn on the remote control again. Then you have to switch into the manual mode. You switch back into the GPS mode. And now it's all okay again. The system knows that it's linked again to the uh, remote control. And now we could just start it again. All right, so that was um, a little video for today. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, you saw that we could do, without any problems, 350 meters. And as I told, always when you go in this direction, I have here some disturbings. Now, you realize I was even sitting. That means uh, I'm much more to the ground and uh, the signal is even a little bit disturbed. But when you stand up, um, you should be able, even with a totally legal video transmitter, to do more or less 500 meters. And um, yeah, I think we will try that one time. We will go just into this direction and then we see how far we can go and when it stops. We know that the, the fail safe works and that's already something. All right, I thank you very much that you watched this video. I thank to my beautiful wife. <laughs> Being here with me instead of uh, the pool, swimming pool and filming this. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Come back soon for another video and bye bye. <laughs>